everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card reading for the week starting the 27th of March. This is a general reading and it's for Sagittarius. I'm using my teacup tarot deck and later on I will clarify with my time to shine deck. So let's get right on with your reading for a really positive week. And your overall energy is card zero, the dreamer. This is the first card in the whole deck. This is the leap of faith card. It's opening new doors to opportunities and it's taking those first steps towards something new. Our help or our hurdle, we have the card, the seven of wands. Now this card reminds you to be gently and kindly assertive and stand up for yourself. Our lovely angel here, look, she's on her way to success. But across the path, we have a closed gate and behind it, some very grumpy sheep. She's going to have to go through them in order to get to the success that she's after. So she's going to have to be gentle. She's going to have to be kind. But she's also going to have to be assertive and stand up for herself. So those are all lovely qualities you need to be mindful of this week. Our guidance, we have the card, the Four of Pencils. This is the card of rest, of relaxation. It reminds you to take a break when you need one and just keep everything in balance. Sometimes when you take time out, and you think nothing is happening. Actually, everything is happening because you're making that space for these lovely new ideas to find you, for clarity to find you. So just be mindful, take a break and have a rest when you need one this week. How can we help ourselves? We have card two, the High Priestess. This is another card about pausing. This card asks you to take your time and think it through. And our lovely angel here, look, she's reading a book saying how to just wait. The high priestess steps back, takes time out and considers very carefully before making her next move forward. She wants to make sure that she's got all the information she needs. And she wants to make sure that the next step forward is what she really would like to do. So take that time, take that step back. You're ready with these new adventures and these new leaps of faith. Make sure it's well thought out. Pulling it all together, we have the Queen of Wands. This is a beautiful card of confidence. This is a confidence boost for you. Look, it says, yes, I can here on the wall. The Queen of Wands embodies confidence. She's able to manifest exactly what she needs when she needs it. And she's doing it right here on the card. Look, manifesting a cup of tea, a cake and a teapot full of tea. She's happy to share these qualities with other people. She doesn't let anything hold her back. She says, I'm... She knows how to be successful. She knows how to manifest for herself. And she's happy to share these qualities with other people. She's got the confidence and she knows that she can succeed. And the final outcome card is another queen card. This time it's the queen of teacups. The queen of teacups is the card of charity, of humanity and humility. The Queen of Teacups makes sure that everyone in her orbit feels loved. She makes sure that all their emotional needs are met. And here she is making cups of tea for everybody else. She's kindness itself. And in order for her to do all this for other people, she also is mindful to make sure that she looks after herself first. So lovely mindfulness for you there as well. So just to clarify. Card number 11 of wisdom, using kindness to get the results that you'd like. B 
being confident and strong. Here's the confidence here again. Making careful and balanced decisions, the four of life, and considering situations of too much or too little. Here are your balanced decisions again. Think it through, take that time out, just to make sure you've got all the information. We have the card, the four of wisdom. This is about showing leadership qualities, getting organized and making a plan. This time out will really help you. Take that time out, make that plan, think it through. And the three of life reminds us to be a good team member. It says you're brilliant at what you do, working with other people and working creatively can help you on the road to success. The nine of action reminds you to focus on self-belief. Here's this confidence. Support yourself, believe in yourself and keep going. Stay motivated. And the Queen of Cups brings along with her the six of action card, which is success. It's enjoying the results of your hard work. It's victory. It's success all the way. So what a lovely outcome for you this week. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, and you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.